guys did we just find a new filming setup <laughs> i think the answer is yes This is amazing! Wowza! Also, I'm wearing my She Wolf Trip shirt. Love it, love it. Yeah, we're gonna do a super impromptu haul video. Like, so impromptu, my hair is in a messy bun, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm in pajamas. But you know what? That's just the kind of day we're having. But I wanted to share with you guys, um, Probably one of the last hauls that, you know, I say that. I say that and then I lie, so we'll see. Um, I am about to go on a pretty strict budget. Um, I've got some things that I want to do this year, and to do that means that Alicia needs to stop buying as many books as she does. Cue the sad music. I know everyone is truly mourning with me, and I appreciate that, friends. Um, also, hi, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. We're all over the place. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys my last Amazon haul. I got a couple gifts, um, a couple books as a gift, and then a few books I've had for a while. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share this with you. Please note there will for sure be a haul in May after Fiction Reader Summit because I have been saving up for that in particular. I go to this event knowing I'm going to spend money on books. It is Baker Bookhouse, y'all. You cannot leave that place without spending your life savings, I'm pretty sure. No, it's really not like that. Their books are actually um, cheaper than Amazon most of the time. They have a bunch of awesome, like, used and cheap and sales. That's, but I do spend um, quite a bit of money when I go just because I have what they call um, a problem. So without further ado, I'm going to share um, one of the last hauls for a while at least. Um, my brother is going to be keeping me accountable and he's scary. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the haul. This is a lot of talking. Okay, first I am going to show you guys the sweetest gift that I got from one of my dearest friends. This is my book cart. Her name is Charlotte. Um, the friend who purchased these books for me named my book cart because I named her book cart. Her book cart's name is Amelia and they are sisters. But my beautiful friend Catherine, um, it is Adventures in Paper. We'll include a little snapshot so you guys can see it. Please go follow her. She is the most genuine person in the entire world and I love her and I am very thankful for the internet and thankful the Lord has brought us together because she has become a very close friend of mine. But she blessed me with a couple books last week and it is The Love Audit and One More Song by Anna Conwell and these books have blown up on the clean fiction side of Instagram. People have been loving Anna's work. Um, so these books have been on my TBR for a while, on my to buy list for a while, and it was just such a joy to open the package and such a surprise to see them. Um, but I know that uh, Catherine loves these books and that's actually why they were on my TBR. We have very similar reading tastes, um, so I knew I was going to love them and it was just very, very sweet. So thank you so much, Catherine. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Next, um, I'm going to talk about some books that I got on sale because beautiful people on the interwebs and Instagrams decided to post about the sales and I couldn't pass it up. Um, so first I got An Improper Agreement by Audra Wells. This is a historical indie published book. The paperback one was on sale for like seven dollars or something like that so I couldn't pass it up. I've never read anything by this author. I had to buy it. Um, but yeah, I'm 99% sure this is a part of the clean fiction side because everybody who posted about it also reads clean fiction. So once I read it, I will let 
you know. Then I got the Off Limits Rule by Sarah Adams. This was on sale for like $9 or something like that. I have read a few Sarah Adams books. I've enjoyed them. Um, and because I have a problem, I like to have everybody's backlist. So I've been slowly trying to collect her books as well. We are going to get into the meat and potatoes of the haul. These are the books that I spent too much money on, but it was worth it. So first, I, oh, and first of all, I would like to point out, be very proud of me because I restrained myself truly. I had so many other books in my cart, like multiples, full series, all kinds of things, but I decided to draw back, calm it down, and just get I think just like one book from each series so that I could like test it out, see how it's going, put some feelers out, and then go hog wild crazy afterwards. So first I got The Impossible Princess by Kira Dominguez. This is book one in the Royals of Sandmark. I just, I need to take a second to appreciate this cover. I have, okay. I've known about this book for a while. It's been on my list for a while just because of the cover. Like, it was a major cover buy. Again, like, 97% sure that this is a part of the clean reads um, because people who've posted about it also read clean reads. But once I read it, again, we'll let you know. Um, but oh, this covers everything. Her heels, her dress, the purple and teal. I just, oh. I'm here for it. I'm so excited about it. I really am a sucker for all things royal romance. So, here for it. Next, into the box. I will share these books first because my beautiful friend, Audrey, um, she is also a contemporary reader. Loves it. It's her lifeline. Um... Other than the Bible, obviously, in fiction. Just in fiction. Um, but she, a while back, gave me some recommendations. And I finally bit the bullet. And again, I was good. And I only bought the first book in both. But I have a feeling that I'm going to be in love with it. Um, so I have a thing. I love sports romances. Don't follow sports. Know nothing about them. But I'm here for it. So I was talking about that with her and she recommended these series. So I think this is the first um, series and the, so it's a, there's a baseball series, which be still my heart. And then a hockey series, which be still my heart. So I think the, if I remember correctly, and Audrey, once you watch this, correct me if I'm wrong, in text form and comment form, however it comes, but I'm pretty positive the baseball series comes first and then the hockey series was a spinoff of like the brothers of the girls in this. Is that right? Something like that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the hockey is a spinoff of the baseball. But this is the Belltown Six Pack series and this is Hitching the Pitcher and I is it all? Th I'm assuming all three authors co-wrote it. So it's Rebecca Connolly, Sophia Summers, and Heather B. Moore. And I am so looking forward to reading this series. And then the hockey series is Face Off. And this is the book one in the Northbrook Hockey Elite series. Also by the same authors. So super pumped. I will keep everybody updated um, on if I enjoyed it and all the things. Next up, Total Shift. Come with me. It's going to give you whiplash, but we're talking about some oh, we're talking about some historical romance. Karen Wittemeyer went indie. Just um she dipped her toes into it. She is still very much with Bethany House has a new western fairy tale retelling type thing series coming out in the next few years and I am so excited. Um, but she coupled with some of her writer friends and they decided to indie publish a novella series that like spans time. And it is the Pink Pistol Sisterhood series. 
Um, it's written by authors from the Petticoats and Pistols blog that has been a thing for years. Um, but book one is by Karen Meyer. It's in her sights. And essentially what this is, is about a pink pistol that was handed down through the generations by Miss Annie Oakley, which I love Annie Oakley. Um, and it's said that the women who have the pink pistol are in need of love or something like that. So they end up finding love, you know, good old romance. But I read in her sights, I was on the launch team and I read the ebook, really enjoyed it. My review is on Goodreads. My review will be up on my blog shortly if it's not already. Um, but it is now widely available for everybody on ebook and also in paperback. Super, super short, super tiny, but it's by Karen. So of course I had to have a physical copy. So there's that. Next, more whiplash. Coming back to the indie clean romance. Another novella because we are here for it. I'm a busy girl. I like short books sometimes. But I got a print copy of Out of the Office by Anna Conwell. So this is the novella that couples with the love audit and one more song. And I'm very, very excited. Book three in the series just released. And I think it's like at first taste or one more taste or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to get my hands on that at some point. Um, but this, that was a, a weird pause. Again, know nothing about the series, but I trust Catherine. Next, I got The Swoon List by Ellie Hall. This is book one in a new series, but I don't know what it's called. And actually, I don't know if it's technically a new series or if it's an old series that she's revamped and like kind of rewrote because there's a lot of indie authors that are doing that right now. Um, but they got new covers. I know that for sure. So it might be an old series that she's just kind of like touched up. But this is book one. I believe it is sports romance because there is a football. I know nothing about books going into them. It's detri detrimental sometimes, but also not in other times because I like to be surprised. But, um... I just, I follow Ellie on Instagram and she is super fun and I've really enjoyed my interactions I've had with her before and again, Catherine enjoy, has enjoyed Ellie's books, I'm pretty sure. So I, no, I had to get it and then a couple of my other friends have liked her books, so yeah, that's, that's that. Okay, we're down to our last two and I've been talking a lot, so this is going to be a very long video for like six books, but here we go. I got my physical copy and I haven't posted about any of these books on well a couple of them but I haven't posted about these books on Instagram yet and it's been killing me because I had this box for a few days and I wanted to do this first and I just haven't pulled out my camera but here we are it's bent up a little but that's okay we'll fix it don't freak out don't freak out um this book, I got my favorite copy, Juniper Bean Resorts to Murder by Gracie Ruth Mitchell. Oh my goodness. Buy it. Read it. Love it. I was blessed to get an advanced copy of this and literally inhaled it. I stayed up till 3 o'clock on a Saturday into a Sunday morning because I had to finish the book. I could not put it down. It was so stinking good. So... It is a rom-com, but it also is like a murder mystery. And it's like the perfect combination of both. And there's got, there's deeper elements in it. I mean, it's a little of a chunky book, but like not really, honestly. Once you start, you just kind of fly through it. And the font's nice. Yeah. Nice size. Um, but it's so good. Gracie Ruth Mitchell is hilarious. I was laughing out loud during this book. Um, it reminded me, if you need a good go-between between Jamie Jo Wright and Pepper Basham, um, but yeah, if you need a good mix between murder mystery and still, like, light-hearted rom-com, definitely recommend trying this out. My review is on Goodreads, on Amazon, it will be up on my blog, it will be included in my, uh, recent reads, I'm gonna do, like, a quarter- wrap up um and I will go more in depth on a few things that were in this and I'll really really like talk about it but um that's my squeal highly recommend very good
And then the last book is probably one of the most talked about books I think I've seen on Instagram in a while. And there are quite a few. Um, but it has like all of my most favorite things in it. And I'm so surprised that it took me so long to get it and to read it. And it is book two. Don't come after me. Don't tar and feather me at the stake. I reached out to the author and asked if it was if I needed to read book one. She said no. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to go back and buy book one anyways, but book two just is screaming at me every time I open the app. Um, and that is First to Fall by Jenny B. Jones. Again, this is book two in like a story book, bookshop something series. Not 100% sure. But this has like Marriage of Convenience, which had me there. Um, I've seen some excerpts and like reels of like trying to get you to read first of all. Sold. Take my card. Here it is. Again, don't know why it took me so long to get it, but here we are. And I'm so excited. Let me read you the tagline that my eyeballs just took in while I was showing you that little montage that probably looked like trash. Here we go. When I woke up this morning, I became aware of two things. One, I felt hungover and I knew I hadn't had a drop of liquor. And two, I was pretty sure I had accidentally married someone. Do I, do I need to do anything? Oh, a lost story bookshop novel. That's what the series is called. But do I have to do anything for the rest of the day? Can I just, can I just sit right here and read? No? Okay, cool. I'll be an adult and then I'll read that at some point. So yeah, cool. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, those are the books that I got from Amazon. The only one that is for sure Christian fiction is Karen Widemeyer's because she is a Christian fiction author. The rest are all um, clean, closed door, at least to the best of my knowledge. They're all sweet reads. We love it. We love chemistry. We love clean things. We love no bedroom scenes, but we still love the sizzle. So yeah, uh, that's the end of my haul. You probably won't see a whole lot of these this year unless somehow I am left trillions and billions and bajillions of dollars and I'm able to just spend it how I want. So yeah, again, look for another haul in May or June or July with my posting schedule, but FRS is in May and I'm very excited to be going to it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're going. If you are, I'd love to meet up, say hello. If not, please know that we wish you were there with us and um, you should definitely try to come sometime. It is a lot of fun. It's very bookish and it's wonderful. And never fear if you are an introvert and crowds are not your favorite thing, there is always an extrovert there to adopt you and welcome you into the bookish family. We're here for you. That's what we do. So that's that. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of the books. If you have, what did you think? If you haven't, let me know what seemed the most interesting. If you like this video, do you like the new area? I think it's due. It's very colorful. And I think that might be why I'm so crazy. Um, because I can see the color in my viewfinder and it's just making me go. Um, cause I don't drink coffee. Like I haven't had coffee. I've not had food yet today. So it's not like I'm on a sugar high. I don't know what's happening. Books make me happy. Anywho, I think that's it. I need to stop talking. This is going to be a very long video. Um, hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget, you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian Fiction, And all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!